You can't talk about tennis and not mention Serena Williams. A hundred years from now, the world will still sing her praise. She's currently the highest Grand Slam title holder in the world since the Open era, with 23 titles. And she's been ranked singles world number one by the WTA for 319 weeks, and is finished as the year-end number one five times. Now, just as you can't talk about tennis without Serena, you can't talk about Serena without Venus Williams, her sister, and today we'll be touching on the important and most influential people in Serena's life, which include Venus, their father, and other people in their large family. Now, in case you've not seen the movie King Richard, this may hold some spoilers. Parents Richard Williams Richard Williams was born Richard Dove Williams Jr. on February 19, 1942. He's best known for being the coach of Venus and Serena Williams, and as a coach, he has garnered for himself 122 singles titles with both Venus and Serena and 28 doubles titles. He was born to his mother, Julia May Metcalf, and his father, Richard Dove Williams Sr. of Shreveport, Louisiana. He only finished high school before moving to California, where he took tennis lessons from a man known as Old Whiskey. He was first married to Betty Johnson after moving to California, and they both had five kids together. However, they went their separate ways in 1975, and then he met Oracine Price, a nurse and widow at the same time, with three children from her previous marriage. They married in 1980, and had two daughters, Venus and Serena Williams. Serena was born Serena Jamika Williams on September 26, 1981, in Saginaw, Michigan. After watching Virginia Ruzici play on television, Richard concluded that he was going to teach two of his daughters tennis. Their only coach was her father, Richard. Then Oracine later joined the party and subsequently another man from Compton, who accidentally bore the name Richard Williams, also coached her. And in some years later, founded the Venus and Serena Williams Tennis and Tutorial Academy. While Serena and her sister were taught tennis in the neighborhood courts, they were both schooled at home by her parents. But five years later, when Williams was nine years old, the family moved again, but this time to West Palm Beach, Florida, so the tennis prodigies can learn from the prestigious Rick Matchy, who was always at loggerheads with Richard Williams, but admits that he was a good father. When Serena was 10, and was on an impressive 46-3 record on the United States Tennis Association Junior Tour, and was ranked number one among under 10 players in Florida, she and her sister were stopped from playing tennis in national junior tournaments because their father Richard wanted them to grow slowly and focus on schoolwork. And also, according to him, because of the racist remarks the parents of white kids were making towards the Williams sisters. Then, in 1995, Richard removed Serena and Venus from Rick Matchy's academy and took on coaching the girls solely at home. Soon after, the sisters were allowed to play professionally again. Serena had struggled in her first years, but finally had a breakthrough in 1997 at the Ameritech Cup Chicago, when she beat world number 7 Mary Pierce and world number 4 Monica Peels, making her the first lowest-ranked player to win two top 10 ranked players in one tournament in the history of the Open Era. She was ranked 304 at the time, and later lost to number 5 Lindsay Davenport. Then their father watched the two girls play against each other for the first time on a professional level. It was during her debut in the main draw of the Grand Slam tournament at the Australian Open of 1998. She had defeated the six-seeded Arena Spurla in the first, but eventually lost to her sister Venus in the second round, to mark the sister's first professional match. Richard recalls that he was really tough on his daughters, because he wanted them to be rough and tough and strong, and wanted them to have a fighter's mentality, and this was why he had decided to move them to Compton, so they could get accustomed to the rough and dangerous ways of living there, which he believed would help them withstand anything. In his 2014 autobiography, black and white, the way I see it, he wrote, How much easier would it be to play in front of thousands of white people if they had already learned to play in front of scores of gang members? But he, however, became worried and scared with the killings and fights rampant in his neighborhood, and also wrote in his book that, A little black girl was shot in the back of the head by a store owner who killed her for stealing a bottle of orange juice. It took me only a couple of months to realize I was in the middle of and only God could help me now. But Richard still decided to stay back in Compton, and though his decision helped raise champions, he unfortunately lost one of his daughters in the gang squabbles common in the town. He was so dedicated to tennis that he had to quit his job while Oracine worked. However, he later separated from Price and married again in 2010 to Lakeisha Juanita Graham. They both had a son in 2012, and in 2017, they divorced. 
He later took up an interest in photography and soon had little time for the tennis involvement of his daughters. Then, in an unfortunate turn of events, he had a stroke, which he recovered from, but unfortunately he had another one. And currently he suffers from brain damage, speaking disability, and dementia. Though he is now living with one of his sons, Shavoy de la Seine, he still maintains a warm relationship with his daughters and their families. In November 2021, Serena posted on Instagram a photo of her father and her daughter together, and just before the launch of the six Oscar-nominated movie King Richard, which centers around Serena's father, she made this comment, My dad was an amazing guy, is an amazing guy I should say, and I think he was way ahead of his time. He's always thinking on a different level. Even now, he is always thinking five steps above everyone else. Another important aspect of Serena's life was her mother, Oracine Price, who Serena praised once in an Instagram post, saying, Dear Mom, you're one of the strongest women I know. Oracine Price Oracine Price was born on April 3, 1952. She's nicknamed Brandy, and her father was an automotive worker in the Mississippi Delta. She was born and raised in Saginaw, Michigan, went to high school there, and afterwards attended Western Michigan University. Price was also a coach to the Williams sisters and at some point was providing financial aid to her family when Richard quit his job to focus on his girls. She's described herself as being very spiritual and feminist. She was married with three daughters to Rashid Youssef, who died later on. And after his death, Oracine began working as a nurse before she met Richard and married him, and together they had Venus and Serena Williams. She still keeps in touch with her famous daughters to this day. Siblings Serena is the youngest of all five sisters, including her stepsister Yatundi, Isha, and Lindrea Price, who were birthed by Oracine. She is very close to all her sisters, but in 2003 she lost one of them, Yatundi to a gunshot in Compton, California. And afterwards, she remarked, No matter what, my sister is not coming back. Isha Price is an attorney at law who handles all the legal dealings of Venus and Serena Williams. Lindrea, on the other hand, is more fashion-oriented and works in the family business as well, as a creative production stylist in Serena's clothing line S. Aside from Aracene Price, Serena also has three more stepsisters through her father. They include Sabrina, Relus, and Renika Williams. But as far as others go, Serena has three half-brothers, Richard Williams III, Ronner, and Dylan. In a nutshell, Serena has a very unique and extended family, and in 2017, she extended the family even further by marrying Alexis Ohanian. Alexis Ohanian, husband. Ohanian was born Alexis Kerry Ohanian on April 24, 1983, in Brooklyn, New York, to German mother and Armenian father. He is American and his grandparents had moved to America as refugees during the Armenian Genocide during World War I. He graduated from the University of Virginia in 2005 and was inducted into the National Society to Collegiate Scholars NSCS. Ohanian is an internet investor and entrepreneur, and he is best known for co-founding the popular social media platform Reddit, alongside Steve Huffman. As of 2019, his estimated net worth was $70 million. But aside from his millions in scholarly works, he's also an advocate of paternity leave. Alexis and Serena became engaged on the 29th of December 2016 and got married on November 16th, 2017 in West Palm Beach, Florida. They both have a daughter, Alexis Olympia Ohanian, born on September 1st, 2017. Alexis has a popular doll named Quay Quay, which was gifted to her by her famous parents. The family lives together in Florida. What next for Serena? The legacy Serena Williams has already developed for herself will forever be impactful in the world of tennis. Many believe that she's the greatest female tennis player of the Open era, and they may not be wrong. BBC presenter and former French Open champion Sue Barker put it the best way. Serena is the greatest because this era is so much more competitive than previous eras. The pace she generates, her serve is without question the greatest ever. Combined with her movement and her power, she pushes her opponents constantly on the back foot.